I am responsible for managing the cities right away in terms of moving people, uh, people and goods throughout the city of Tempe on our arterial streets, collector st streets, residential streets. Um, that involves managing construction activities in the right of way, managing our signal system to make sure that we're progressing people. From property line to property line is considered the right of way, so that entails uh, vehicles, uh, transit, people on bicycles, also uh, pedestrians and the sidewalk system. Just making sure that we're accommodating all modes of traffic. I think Tempe is a leader in the valley in terms of recognizing that all modes of transportation need to be given equal opportunities and that we need to promote um, getting people out of their cars and uh, you know other ways of getting to their destination. Certainly is a challenge on a day-to-day -day basis because not only do we have people who are destined for Tempe, we have people that are destined for uh, locations outside. So we need to make sure that we're moving traffic, uh, our signals are working accordingly. We have 223 traffic signals in the city of Tempe. All of them we're able to communicate with and set up timing so that we're able to progress traffic. If an incident happens at a signalized intersection or in the area, some of our uh, intersections have cameras at them so we're able to view them, see what the impacts are and then adjust the timing so that we're able to move traffic. If our signal system isn't operating at peak performance, um, that is an impact to this, the in environment in terms of we have increased congestion which decreases air quality. Idling cars is obviously a negative on our system. so. We need to make sure that we are moving the traffic so that we don't have areas where there is buildup. Obviously, as congestion levels increase, people try and find the path of least resistance, which a lot of times means cutting through on our residential streets. So we work with uh, neighborhood associations, homeowners associations, and you know just residents in general to make sure that we are helping them with the issues that they see on a day-to-day -day basis. You can get street closure and, and restriction information at www.tempe.gov slash street closures or you can also sign up to be part of our listserv at www.tempe.gov slash lists.